A big discussion in the NFL community is who's going to walk away with that NFL MVP award. Will it be Aaron Rodgers or Patrick Mahomes? Let's make a case for each one individually. Aaron Rodgers, 3,600 yards passing, 39 passing touchdowns, which by the way, that 39 passing touchdowns is more than how many punts J.K. Scott has punted for the Green Bay Packers. So the Packers have more passing touchdowns than J.K. Scott has punts. Thank you, Bennett Nygaard, for that little nugget. Four interceptions, 69... Nice. 69.6% of his passes completed, 119.7 quarterback rating. That's on pace for 4,500 yards passing and 48 passing touchdowns to five interceptions. Just process, process that for a bit. 48 passing touchdowns to five interceptions. That's better than an 8-1 to one touchdown to interception ratio. That's incredible. But let's make the case for Patrick Mahomes. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. 4,200 yards passing. 33 passing touchdowns. 5 interceptions. 68. Not so nice. 68.4% of his passes completed. 112.3 quarterback rating. That's on pace for 5,100 yards passing. 41 touchdowns. 6 interceptions. So looking at the stats alone, who's the favorite? I mean, it's, it doesn't take a, a, a smart man to realize that right now, statistically, it's Aaron Rodgers. Now, I'm not saying he's the favorite right now for MVP, but I'm saying statistically, he's having a better season than Patrick Mahomes. That's just how it is. But both are having really good seasons with their respective teams. But I believe it should be, personally, Aaron Rodgers should walk away with that NFL MVP award. I mean, statistically, we already just read off the stats to you guys. That's why it just makes sense for Aaron Rodgers to win the award. But a lot of people are going to make the argument, well, hey, it's the most valuable player. It's about who is the most valuable to their team. That's who should win the NFL MVP. The only thing about that, about that argument, about who is the most valuable, is that there is no level of consistency with that argument. What I mean by that is an MVP award should be an individual performance-based award. So if you are the best performing player, you deserve to be the MVP of the league. That's just how it is, and that's how it should be. But a lot of people get it twisted and confused. No, it's about who's the most valuable. Like, if you take this player away from this team, they're not going to be that good. First off, to argue that, you don't really know that. Unless that player got hurt earlier in the season, then you and you saw that the team suffered without them, you can't really make a judgment call on, is this team really that good without them? You just can't. I mean, yes, in your mind, you could say, yes, like, Obviously, like, look how good Patrick Mahomes is. If you took him away from the Chiefs, you're not going to be as good with whoever the backup quarterback is. Yes, I understand what you're saying, but, like, factually and statistically, you there's no way of determining that. There's just no evidence. So that gets thrown out the window just because there's no evidence. So you have to look at who is the best performing, and you have to measure that by their statistics because there has to be consistency. A lot of people vote on who the most valuable player is based off of who is the most valuable, not off of who had the most stats. Because in 2014, speaking of Aaron Rodgers, if you remember when Aaron Rodgers won that MVP award over J.J. Watt, which was the biggest upset in MVP and NFL MVP history, it should have been J.J. Watt. People gave him the award and people voted for him because number one, quarterback bias, because people believe that the MVP is just based off of who the best quarterback is. It shouldn't be like that, but that, that's just how it is nowadays. And two, they chose Rodgers because he was the most valuable over J.J. Watt, who had a historic year. I mean, 20 and a half sacks, 78 tackles for a defensive end is pretty freaking good. Five touchdowns, three of them were on offense as a defensive end. And he didn't win MVP because they decided to go with who was the most valuable. Let me counter that by asking you this question. If you want to pick who the most valuable player is over who the st- 
statistically who the best player is. Shouldn't it be someone like Russell Wilson? I mean, if you take Russell Wilson away from the Seattle Seahawks, they're not going to be as good with Geno Smith. I mean, we've seen this in the last, I guess, I guess a couple years ago, before they had DK Metcalf, before they had a solid run game, before Tyler Lockett was on the up and coming. Russell Wilson did it all by himself. He was the man. He was the leading guy with 34 passing touchdowns with nothing around him. Wasn't he the most valuable? Yet he didn't earn a single MVP vote. So he was the most valuable. He had great stats and he led his team to a winning record and made the postseason. Yet he didn't get a single MVP vote. You see where I'm getting at? There's just too many inconsistencies with the MVP voting. Do you vote for the most valuable like you did with Aaron Rodgers over J.J. Watt who had the better stats? Or do you go with someone who has the better stats over someone like Russell Wilson who was the most valuable to their team that season. I personally believe that MVP is an individual award. Who balled out individually? Take team success away. And you have to award it to the guy who had the best statistics, the best player, the best performances, and that, in my eyes, it's got to be Aaron Rodgers. Statistically looking at it, Aaron Rodgers over Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes is very valuable to his team, I understand. But if, it's, if this is an individual award, it's got to be Aaron Rodgers.